Why are you dancing during special military operation? This video was recently filmed in Moscow and posted online. A woman off screen reapproaches Moscovites for dancing on our butt during the so called special operation. It is impossible to ignore Russia's war against Ukraine even in a prosperous capital. Daily life here has also changed. Navigating around the city is difficult due to radar interference, due to drone strikes. Flights are periodically postponed at airports. It has become more difficult to purchase a foreign car or branded clothing due to sanctions. Muscovites are also concerned about rising prices. I had stopped buying red meat entirely and that I could almost never afford to buy a whole fish. Just right now, in September, the prices rose tremendously because a lot is spent on war. Nina, resident of Moscow, in a comment for New York Times. In principle, everything is getting more expensive. Alexander, resident of Moscow, in a command for New York Times. According to the Levada Center, inflation worries more than half of Russian citizens, 53 percent. In second and third place are corruption and Russia's war against Ukraine. Almost every third respondent considers these problems to be the most important. And this despite the Kremlin's attempts to minimize the topic of war on the information agenda. However, it is worth considering that in Russia it is dangerous to answer questions honestly. Therefore, the number of people dissatisfied with the so-called special operation and its consequences for the country may be many times greater, experts say. They are afraid and fear on any issue that comes from outside has already been formed. Because the population is intimidated, they see perfectly well what happens to those people who do not follow the party line. Therefore, of course, no one here wants to attract attention to themselves or feel pressure. People in Moscow are reluctant to make direct contact with journalists, especially when the issue concerns Russia's war against Ukraine. And those who agree insist on anonymity. Journalists from the New York Times asked a woman working in a Moscow city business center what she thought about drone attacks in the business district. She immediately refused to answer, but later wrote to the correspondent on Telegram. I couldn't say anything, because at work they don't talk about a position like mine. I am against war and I hate our political system. I always hope that maybe someone will think about what it means to live under shelling and regret the loss of our normal life before the war. I don't regret damage to the buildings at all. Olga, resident of Moscow, in a comment for New York Times. The fact that Russians began to feel less protected due to the war unleashed by Putin against Ukraine is also evidenced by the results of a survey by the Levada Center. If last year only 6% of Russian citizens were afraid of explosions, today this figure is 17%, and it is growing monthly. Reported by Sergei Kulas, Vasil Panasiuk, UATV News.